More now on the threat to Florida. 180 mile an hour winds seriously threaten buildings across Florida, and we've already seen the destruction they've caused in Barbuda and St. Martin. Now, officials and residents closely watching high rise buildings and construction cranes along the coast. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, is in Miami. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. Just behind me, you can see one section of Miami's beautiful glass filled skyline. Now, that glass is one concern, but the other big concern take a look at this angle from the same balcony. Those construction cranes there in the distance, there's 20 to 25 of them. And now, officials here in Miami are advising anyone who lives in a building next to a crane to get out. This morning, Hurricane Irma causing a sky-high scare for some in South Florida. In downtown Miami, a combination of condo canyons and massive construction cranes leading to new warnings. Brickell resident Jonathan Ayal wrote out Hurricane Wilma on the 18th floor of his building. Panes of glass that were probably 40 to 50 sections at a time got sucked out and were floating like paper in the air and then were just crashed to the ground. Even if he's ordered to, he says he's not evacuating. I have impact resistant glass. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 and Hurricane Wilma in 2005 led to stricter building codes, including in some cases mandating impact resistant windows. Three, two, one. This demonstration shows how impact glass can stop a projectile in its tracks. The impact windows hold up in the lab, but against a category five hurricane, you have confidence? Complete confidence. I'll be in my house behind my impact windows during the hurricane. The other major concern in South Florida, those massive cranes. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy flipped the arm of this crane near a New York City high rise, leaving it dangling and mangled. Nearby buildings forced to evacuate. Here in Miami, our Alex Perez was with one of those crews securing one of those massive cranes. We put the crane into a weather vaning position so when the crane can spin, when the wind comes, it won't take it out of balance. Still, the idea of spinning cranes, safe or not, in the middle of a hurricane is alarming some who live high up. The Lozano family lives on the 44th floor of a high rise right next door to one of those cranes. We're supposed to have really good high impact windows. Uh, but I just heard that uh, we might have to worry about the cranes. Now, residents who live in these high rise buildings are also being advised to take everything off their balcony, furniture, plants, any type of decoration, because if this hurricane hits Miami, all of those items can become missiles. Yeah, George they can become lethal. OK, Tom, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. Michael Strahan here, and I want to thank you for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, all you got to do is click on the right over here, okay, right there, to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thank you for watching.